after yesterday's meeting that we felt you looked as prepared and as ready for a fight as we have ever seen. Obviously, you were in sensational condition. You were ready to put on one of your best performances ever tonight, weren't you? Yes, I had. I had to, man. I had to come out here and, uh, of course, they're going to boo me, but I think they, it's okay. I love what Denver think I before. But anyways, how do you have to do, man? I had to come up prepared because uh, this was my end of my career it could be. So I didn't want that to happen. I got a lot of gas in my tank still, and I don't want that to end like this. At what point in round one did you say to yourself, wow, this is going to be easy? I, you know, I never thought it would be easy. You know, I know I, I rocked with the Warrior, and I knew he would get bounced back and hit me in his shots, and he got power in both hands. So how did that take my time, be patient, and listen to my corner, and all the instruction that followed the, the, the game plan and, and camp and everything, been disciplined, and I got victorious. You particularly couldn't miss with the uppercut. Was that a planned weapon coming in? Oh, no, that's my favorite. You know, that's favorite, my favorite punch. I love, I love my uppercuts. I think I got the deadliest uppercuts in the world and one of the best. I know how to throw them and everything, so that's my favorite punch. Want to take a look at the knockdown, which yeah. is the product of a an accumulation of punishment? Uh, I think it was uppercut, right? Here's a look, Brandon. Uh, yeah, man, we were we, we practicing those shots in the gym. Uh, overhand, upper, overhand, upper. And then right there, another game over here, when he's open, they catch him. So, you know, I follow the game plan, I've been disciplined, and you can see what I can do when I'm on my best. I perform very well. All right, so the brief losing streak is over. You've got the big win that makes you the winner of the trilogy. What next in your career now? You know what, I lead up to Cameron Duncan. He's one of the best managers in the world, and he'll give me the best fights out there. So whatever he says, I'm ready for I don't care who it is. Uh, the Russian, Victor Ortiz, if he wants to get it, I'll get down with him. Bad blood, uh, whoever, man, I don't care. I, I'm a fighter, I'm a warrior, I'll fight anybody. Congratulations on the win. Do you have anything to say to your compadre, Mike Alvarado, who's standing here next to me? It was an honor with my boy, man. It was an honor. Hey, after the difficult, all the stuff that we do, man, we're still best yeah. friends, man. Uh, this is my boy right here, I love him. You know, we... I'm to the camera. You know, me and Alvarado, you know, after all the stuff we've been through, you know, uh, he's my boy, I got really close to him, I know who he is, he knows who I am, we're the same type of person, and the Warriors, and we come out to fight all the time, man. Today, fortunately, he'll bounce back, you know, he'll bounce back all the time. All right. Right. thank you very much, Brandon, congratulations. And now, here is the very brave Mike Alvarado, a braver fighter you won't find, you were courageous again in there tonight, but... From the, the get-go, he seemed to seize the initiative, and I was surprised that you weren't firing back in round one. What was yeah, that? Uh, I was still getting comfortable. I was still getting in my zone and moving, doing whatnot, but cop moved a good uppercut, and right in my eye, I couldn't see. My vision was, was not there, so I decided to make the call of, you know. So just one uppercut made a change in, in your ability to see. Perfectly right on the dot in the eye, so I just couldn't see, so, you know, I was looking at the, with my physical condition, so, you know, I didn't want to, you know, I could have showed heart, but who knows what happened after that. So the purpose of, of uh, calling an end to it was to preserve chances for later on in your career. I'm, I'm not done yet at all. I, I'm far from being at my best, so I will be back. I guarantee everyone in this place, I'll be back, so it doesn't matter. I'll be back. Mike, it's inescapable that this is basically the same conclusion that we saw in the Probotnikov fight when you fought here uh, a couple of years ago. And obviously, when you come home to fight in front of this crowd, you're looking for a big celebration and a homecoming win. It hasn't happened for you. Is it a mistake to fight in Denver? Uh, you know, it was all in the preparation of my training, too, as well. You know, I wasn't training like I should have been. Well, that, that's what I get. That's what I get. i got to get back to the board and... and and get back on it, you know? I, I ain't done yet. I'm far from done. I'm not at peace with myself for, you know, saying I, I'm, I'm, at least, you know, I gave it all I got. I didn't give it all I got, you know? So, so I get. So with, with whatever. They can pick out that want to and bring out that fail. So it don't matter. You're being a man and putting it on yourself, saying that you were not as prepared as you should have been. I wasn't as prepared as I should have been, you know? It's what I get. So it is what it is, whatever. Well, your trainer, Sean Billhauer, is now getting upset because of the response of some of these fans. And obviously, you know, they're with you when you win. They're not necessarily with you when you lose. Where do you want to go in your future? Um, I'm just going to, you know, get myself healthy again. i got a marriage to look forward to. So, you know, i got, I got my kids. i got all the positive things and every attributes that I, I need to, you know, be better myself. So, you know, get myself together and I'll come back. And a wedding coming up on March 14. Congratulations again on that, and best of luck in the future. Thank you.
All, All right. right, Mike Alvarado. And now let's turn to Andre Ward. Well, Andre, we heard Mike Alvarado himself say, I wasn't properly prepared. That goes back to our discussion before the fight. It's probably difficult to prepare the maximum when you're facing the kinds of problems outside the ring that Mike Alvarado faced. Yeah, this sport is hard enough as it is, much less, you know, having outside distractions that are self-inflicted. We just hope, and I mean myself as, as a fighter in the fraternity of fighters, the fans, we just hope that Mike Alvarado is able to heal physically, uh, mentally, and every which way, and is able to get back on track because you don't like to see a fighter and a warrior like that to go out like that. Some trilogies end with a bang. Some trilogies end with something more like a whimper. This was anticlimactic. It was disappointing. It was not the best you've seen of both fighters, but it might have been if the fight had gone on for more of a distance an inspiring look at the best we've seen from Brandon Rios. He at least seemed to be immaculately prepared for the fight. So we congratulate Rios. We look forward to more of Gilberto Ramirez, whom we saw on the undercard. 